What could have been? According to actress Susan Olsen, who famously portrayed the youngest daughter Cindy Brady in The Brady Bunch, her controversial opinions and support for Donald Trump allegedly prevented CBS Studios from going through with a revival of the series, however, that doesn't appear to be the whole story. Olsen, 63, discussed the drama on a recent episode of the Walk Away Campaign podcast. I did have a phone call with my TV siblings and my agent, she shared of the talks that began two years ago. Everybody was saying, we are sorry, but they just won't budge. They just will not have you in this. I'm like, wow, I've been canceled. A role that I've played for over 50 years, I can't play it now because I'm too dangerous. Meanwhile, a source told a news outlet that Olsen's claim isn't entirely true, to start, though it was being discussed at CBS Studios, the show had not received any interest yet from any streaming service or network. In addition, the report claimed she was actually cut from the potential project because of the hateful comments she made toward the LGBTQ community in 2016, not because of her anti-vax stance or Republican views. While it's unclear if the script was ever even written, Olsen admitted she wasn't a fan of how producers wanted to shape the show, as they planned to have one of the Brady sisters have a black spouse, with another sibling having a transgender child. To that it was like, come on, let's not be so obvious. Let's make this black spouse somebody who has a really close relationship with another Brady, and that's how this Brady met them, she explained of her response. Give them a foundation so this isn't a token position. Olsen said it was pitched that her character Cindy grew up to become a libertarian podcaster. Regardless of what's true and what's not, Olsen claimed the revival is pretty much dead in the water now. The star first came under fire when she was booted from LA Talk Radio's Two Chicks Talk in Politics in 2016 after speaking with actor Leona Cord Whiting, who was openly gay. Following the chat, Cord Whiting shamed the actress for spreading outrageous misinformation and idiotic lies, to which she allegedly sent him a hateful homophobic message privately in response. Hey there little P, let me get my big boy pants on and really take you on. What a snake in the grass you are you lying piece of s, too cowardly to confront me in real life so you do it on Facebook, she reportedly wrote to the actor. You are the biggest f, a in the world the biggest p. ID is bigger than yours which ain't saying much. What a true piece of s you are. Lying f. I hope you meet your karma slowly and painfully. Vanity Fair reported on Olsen's comments and clarified why the revival never came to fruition.